is recommended that the Danish Maritime Authority and IALA support an e-navigation underway 2015 North America held at an academic institution in North America. Lee. Well, being at a university, of course, I'm all for education, but I find it uh, interesting, if not ironic, that it has to be a European maritime authority and a European-based international standards organization that's going to uh, help organize this in North America. Um, in a perfect world, of course, it would be, I'll just make a polite suggestion, some other national maritime authority, like, say, U.S. Coast Guard even, or RTCM. And uh, I'm not sure an academic institution is critical to, uh, to encourage faculty and students to participate, but it's not a bad idea either. But certainly, I, I don't understand exactly why it has to be uh, Danish Maritime Authority in Iowa to support a North American uh, conference. The Danish Maritime Authority and IALA are the sponsors of this event, but you're right, it is, it is generally not appropriate to direct a recommendation at an organization or an individual, so I, I would prefer that this be made more generic, and let me suggest that uh, the, the second sentence be changed to read, to facilitate this, it is recommended that an, another e-navigation underway 2015 North America conference be held at an academic institution in North America. That eliminates the targeted recommendation, but it, it also reinforces our intention to, to hold these at academic institutions where e-navigation might be a curriculum uh, matter in the a future. A quick clarification, Mike. An academic institution could be, for instance, uh, my tags or Pacific Maritime Institute, something like that. Why not? Sure. So if anybody did the org did the organizers catch my last edits? Because I don't think I could repeat it. Any other comments or questions or perhaps a recommendation that was not made that should have been made? Yes, please. No. Hi. Um, I, th I think there's um, one element which I think is is missing here, and that's resilient PNT. It's something that seems to crop up in almost every session, and um, and it is critical to the success of e-navigation. So perhaps we need a recommendation which says that we need to support um, further research into alternative PNT systems as a backup to GNSS. Um, because without it, um, we don't really have um, e-navigation. Yes, resilient PNT is a critical element of e-navigation. That, as has been said, it has come up at every session that ha I have ever attended on e-navigation. But uh, I think it was probably deliberately left off because, similar to the navigation must be based on user needs. I mean, it is in already ingrained in, uh, in everybody's thinking about e-navigation. I see no reason to further enforce it, but unless there is, is a strong feeling that we should include a recommendation on resilient PNT, we can certainly do that. Are there any other comments from the floor on whether that, that is necessary or is it already an essential element of e-navigation? I interpret your silence as 100% agreement with what I just said. Uh, oh, yes, Fred? May, may I uh, suggest, um, maybe it's a conclusion, maybe it's a recommendation, but I, I would like to suggest that possibly we should add something about the insurance industry, and that uh, a recommendation could be uh, to um, involve the insurance industry in the development and implementation of e-navigation. Ship operator owners, system vendors, and marine insurers yes. must be active participants or should be active participants. Uh, ship Along officers. with marine insurance, we could add P&I clubs. P and I clubs. They all work together. P&I and insurance go side by side. Thank you.
So that would read ships officers, system vendors, and P&I clubs should be active in this. That would have killed it. But uh, I still would like to return to the P&T issue. Are we in agreement that there is, is not necessary to add a separate recommendation to reinforce the need for resilient P&T in e-navigation? I, I would think we are. That concludes our review of the recommendations. If I go past 630, Captain Picota will withhold the generous honoraria that has been promised me. So I will thank you for your active participation in this session and your comments. They resulted in definite improvements to the work of uh, drafting the conclusions and recommendations. And thank you for your kind attention. And with that, I'll turn the floor to Captain Picota. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Well, we've come to the conclusion of this conference, and I did have some uh, bang-up concluding remarks that would rival the Gettysburg Address, but we're already out of time, so I don't even have the two minutes that that address took, so you're not going to hear those. But what I would like to do to close this conference is to, to give some special recognition to six people who put in the most hard work of anybody in this conference to make this conference possible. And first is, the, is two people on the steering committee, and that is Bob Moore. I'd like you to stand up, Bob. Bob, stand up. And Fred Pott. Well, well done, gentlemen. I could not have done this without you, uh, as you well know. And on our campus staff, four people that made the whole logistics of this possible from the very get-go, from when we first went online uh, and right through to the end today. And that's Chelsea McLean. Stand up, please. <laughs> Paula Vitt. <laughs> Aubrey Trio. <laughs> and Bobby King. Uh, they kept me straight and in line and on track the whole time, and, and I, I'm telling you what, folks, this conference wouldn't have been possible without them. And uh, there is, a, of course, on the last page in your uh, uh, program, acknowledgments of all the other folks that, were, that had a lot to do with the success of this conference, hopeful success of this conference. And I'm just going to close with a, um, a statement. Please, again, if you enjoyed the conference and you want to see another one, uh, fill out that survey and uh, let, let us know what we did right, what we did wrong, and uh, we'll make it better the next time. This conference is uh, hereby officially closed. Have a good and safe trip home, and I hope to all see you again next year. Thank you.